Hey everyone, welcome back. Neo is considering offering a buy option in Europe, says the president. Quinn Lee Hun mentioned this in the Neo app in response to users' suggestion that Neo should offer consumer an additional option in Europe. Now, Neo co founder, President Quinn Lee Hun, said that the company is considering starting to sell vehicles in Europe. Echoing previous statements made by the founder, chairman, and CEO William Lee. So an article posted on the Neo app yet so an article posted on the Neo app recently, the electric vehicle company announced that it would start ET7 deliveries and test drive in Europe quite soon. In the comment section of the article, a user suggests that Neo should allow purchasers to buy the vehicle in Europe to give consumer an additional options. And Europeans are very much used to buying their vehicles. So in a response to the question, Quinn, the president, said we are considering starting sales. Quinn did not mention a specific timeline, though a Twitter user said earlier this week that Neo presidents, speaking with local users in Netherlands, said that would happen before Christmas. And here's that tweet in question, ladies and gents. Lehan Quinn was in Netherlands, very approachable, open and honest. And there's a quote actually, we've listed our users, soon will be added option to buy and own a vehicle in Europe before Christmas. I think right now that's the topic on debate. Actually on CNEV Post, that's one of the trending topic, the most trending topic, Neo to offer buy option in Europe starting November the 21st. We're going to look at that article as well. Now, NEO held its NEO Berlin launch event on October the 7th, European time, introducing its three latest model, the ET7, ETL, ET5, to the European consumers. The EL7 is known in China as the ES7. Obviously, NEO's recently went through a name change for the European market because they're currently in a lawsuit with Audi. Audi does not seem to like the names like ES7 because Audi thinks to thinks to believe that this will reference to their vehicle. Like the Audi thinks there could be some infringements or some confusion amongst customers or consumers. So that's for the courts to decide. But for now, Neo's taken the responsible approach to change these names in the European market. And I think that was the correct thing to do, obviously, to avoid the lawsuit being even worse. But just so it doesn't confuse us as the listeners and readers, the EL7 in Europe, it is known as the ES7 in China. Slight difference, slight difference, ladies and gents. Now, unlike the vehicles it sold directly in China or Norway, NEO offers a service it calls NEO subscription in Germany, the Netherlands, Denmark and Sweden that only allows local consumers to lease the vehicle, not to buy them. Notably, the move was subsequently met with much skepticism. With Lee saying in October the 10th, post on European version of the Neo app, that the company had underestimated the enthusiasm of many users for buying Neo cars and has said it was open to a buy option. I think that's inevitable for them to introduce. I think it was inevitable from the start, to be honest with everyone. So this other article, actually it was published a couple of days ago, October the 21st, Neo to offer a buy option in Europe starts in November 21st, and that's just one month away. So that'd be really good if Neo actually come through and did this. I think this will make a lot of uh, European um, consumers and a lot of European buyers really happy with this approach. Now, after two weeks of communication with local users, the company confirmed that it will offer a purchase option for its vehicles. The purchase option for the Neo ET7, EL7, and ET5 for European consumers will begin on November the 21st. The company actually announces in the European version of the app. Deliveries of the car with purchase option will begin in 2023, the company said. So this is very, very good, ladies and gents. There you have it. Neo will be offering a buy option. It's good to see that Neo is able to listen to consumers, listen to the customers, listen to what people need, what they want. Not a lot of automakers are able to do this. But I think because Neo is such a new company, they're so fully focused on the consumers and buyers, this gives them an advantage to listen more carefully to the people who could be buying your vehicle in the future. This matters to them greatly because without the support, they won't have a very popular reputation. For a manufacturer that is bigger as Mercedes or as big as VW or even BMW, these companies, it's much harder for them to change their mind after they've made such an instrumental decision. Because they're such a big company and they operate on a global scale, this affects them in many ways. So they're not always able to be as flexible. However, the nice thing about Neo is that it's new. The nice thing about Polestar is that they're new companies and they can afford to be quite flexible.
Even Tesla, in my opinion, can afford to be quite flexible. While obviously we're fully aware that Tesla is quickly becoming more and more powerful, more and more popular. They're selling over a million vehicles a year. By the end of this year, we're looking at Tesla selling at least 1.3 to 1.4 million vehicles. I think this quarter alone, Q4, they're looking to sell over 300 to 400,000 vehicles alone in three months. How insane is that to think? Think back to 2012, 2013, 2014. People were not this bullish on Tesla. Think about how quickly the night has changed for this company. How quickly Tesla has turned around their prospects. How quickly they've revolutionized and become an extremely strong company. It's really incredible to see. It's really, really incredible to see. But this is where we end this video. This is just a quick video to keep you up to date. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment with any questions you have. And I will see you in our next video.